Autumn at the family farm was very wet. Rain had turned the ground into a sloshy, muddy mess. Watery muck was all over the place. The street was muddy. The farmyard was muddy. Even the tracks between the fields were muddy. Tech's wheels were covered in muck, but he wasn't bothered by it, not at all. No, indeed, Tech was enjoying himself, even in all the mud. Beep, beep. Tech drove straight through the muck and splashed in a puddle. The mud made it easy for Tech to find his friends. He didn't have to toot his horn or call out for them to figure out where they were. All he had to do was follow their muddy footprints. And as he left the farmyard today, Tech saw someone's muddy footprints. Now then, I wonder whose footprints these are, thought Tech, as he followed the trail through the mud. footprints here too, said Tech. Quack, quack, flying foxes. How did you sneak up so quietly? Asked Daniel the duck in a terrified voice. He was certain that a fox had snuck up on him. Hello, everyone, smiled Tech. How on earth did you know where to find us? Quacked Daniel. Easy peasy, said Tech. I followed your footprints. I hope that the fox doesn't have the same idea, Quack, thought Daniel Duck, or we'll be in trouble. Tech, called Roy. Roy startled him. Oh, goodness me, said Tech, as the ducks giggled at him. Quack, quack, quack. See? That'll teach you to startle your friends, laughed Daniel. Now it was Tech's turn to question Roy. How did you know where to find me? Easy, said Roy. All I had to do was follow your tire tracks in the mud. Roy was busy. He didn't have time to hang around. Come on, Tech, he said. I need your help, and off they went. Roy and Tech came to the entrance of the field. Where's all the mud gone? asked Tech in surprise. Roy explained that he had cleared a lot of it away. Tech wondered what the stones and planks of wood on the ground were for. We're going to make concrete. Make concrete? Make concrete! Oh, great! What do you want me to do? asked Tech. Go and fetch some sand, said Roy. Sand, okay, fine, said Tech. And Tech immediately ran off to get Tommy the trailer. Tommy, Tommy, you won't believe what we're going to do today, said Tech. Uh, go to the beach, wondered Tommy. Go to the beach in autumn? No way, said Tech. Bark, 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 bark. No, cluck, cluck, of course not, no. What then, said Tommy. 
We're going to help Roy make concrete. Concrete? Ma? Yes, concrete. C -c -c concrete. And with that, Tech pulled Tommy out of the machine shed and across the farmyard to a pile of gravel. Are you ready, Tommy? Asked Roy. Um, uh, I don't know, said Tommy the trailer nervously. But before he could think about it any more, Roy was loading gravel into his trailer. Oh, I feel very full and heavy, complained Tommy. Suddenly, he burped. Oops, excuse me. Come on, said Roy. Sizzling snowballs, you weigh a ton, Tommy, grunted Tech. Then Roy shoveled some sand into Tommy the trailer. Before the three of them reached the field entrance, they stopped at a shed along the way to collect a bag of cement. Thanks for carrying all this, Tommy, said Roy, as he lifted the bag of cement. I think we have everything we need now. What's happening now, said Tommy. Tech unhooked his friend and parked him by his side so that Tommy could see exactly what was happening. Water! You need water, Roy, said Tech. Luckily, Roy had fetched the water already. Now, Max the concrete mixer was ready to go. What's happening? What's that noise? Asked Tommy the trailer. Max the mixer has started mixing everything up. To make concrete, you have to put in three shovels full of gravel, said Tech. Roy loaded one, two, three shovels full of gravel into Max's turning belly. It made a loud rattling noise. Then Roy threw in two shovels full of sand. Last, he shoveled some cement into Max's tummy. Water! Water! shouted Max the mixer. Why is he shouting? asked Tommy. He needs water, said Tech. He explained that water helps blend the cement and gravel together. After adding some water, though not too much, Roy placed the bucket on the floor. Everyone watched as Max churned and turned the mixture. Is it ready yet? Asked Tommy the trailer. No, said Tech. It's got to be mixed more. It doesn't look like concrete at all, said Tommy. It's wet. Concrete is always wet until it dries. Then it becomes hard, said Tech. Oh dear, Tommy the trailer knew absolutely nothing about making concrete.
Roy emptied the concrete over the area he had prepared and spread it across the stones with his shovel, smoothing it out until the surface was even. There we are, all done. The gap will be much cleaner now, said Roy. But he had one more favor to ask of Tech and Tommy. He wanted them to guard the wet concrete to make sure that nobody walked through it, leaving their footprints behind. Oh, don't worry, Roy. We'll make sure that no one walks on the wet concrete, won't we, Tommy? Sure we will, said Tommy. So Tech and Tommy waited patiently, watching over the concrete. Then Nell came by. Beep, beep! No, no, don't come any closer, Nell! Tech hooted his horn as a warning. The concrete is wet, shouted Tech. Nell was so frightened that she ran in the other direction. Bark, 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 bark. Hello, Tech and Tommy, clucked Winnie. What are you doing here? asked Cluck. Guarding the wet concrete, said Tommy. Can I see? asked Winnie. No, you can't. Stay where you are, shouted Tech, or your footprints will be in the concrete forever. Goodness me, did you hear that, Cluck? said Nancy in surprise. What did he say? Our footprints would be in the concrete forever? Ah, count me out, cackled Cluck, flying away. Oh, dear, Tommy yawned. Muck and mud cakes. I'm exhausted, sighed Tech. Watching wet concrete was tiring work, and he felt his eyelids get heavier and heavier until they were almost closed. Galloping gaskets. It was very hard work keeping his eyes wide open when he was so tired. But just as his eyelids were about to close again, he heard sheep bawling. Sheep, he shouted, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Sand and gravel, they must be in the field. If they are, they'll surely run through the gap and into the wet concrete any minute now. Oh, oh, he started his engine and drove through the wet concrete, leaving tire tracks all over it. Roy laughed, and so did Tech. He was so busy keeping other people's tracks out of the concrete that he forgot to watch his own tire tracks. Oh, Tech. <laughs>